And in spite of years of hostility, Washington has welcomed the prospect of nuclear disarmament in North Korea. He's a friendly looking guy, isn't he, that Kim Jong-un, with that smiling chubby face. He's cute, Ooh, festively plump. The, the sort of person you'd want to tickle, isn't he? And, and it's a nice thing to do, isn't it? I'm getting rid of my nuclear weapons. It's lovely, isn't it? He's, he's got that cute, perfectly spherical head. You know, he looks like an emoji, doesn't he? But one that you'd send to your ex-girlfriend if you were about to have her executed, like Kim Jong-un did, allegedly. I'm just, I'm just saying, let's not forget that this man is a tyrant, Tim. You know, I worry that we're losing sight of that important fact. You know, disarming his weapons of mass destruction doesn't mean that he's not going to carry on inflicting horrendous human rights abuses on his own people. 70% of the population of North Korea are malnourished, yeah? There are prison camps for anyone who steps out of line, executions are common, torture is rife, and they've got a thing called the three generations rule. Yeah, so if someone is convicted of a crime and sent to a prison camp, they will be joined by their parents, their grandparents, and their children. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea. It's actually a nation of prisoners. Is it democratic to force people to cast their votes in full view of officials? You know, I, I wonder why the Supreme Leader always ends up with 100% landslides at elections. Turns out, being in charge of all state media, banning the internet, and threatening dissenters with torture and death is a pretty successful election campaign strategy. Theresa May could learn a thing or two, couldn't she? The press should be full of this stuff. We need to be reminded of this shit, but it's important, you know, but most of the papers went with the ABBA reunion as their main story. You know, don't get me wrong, Chikatita is a classic tune, but I think the possibility of averting an all-out nuclear war on the Korean peninsula is, you know, slightly more newsworthy. In, in 2015, he reportedly executed his defence chief for falling asleep during a meeting. He also had his uncle killed for philandering, gambling, and wait for it, dreaming different dreams. Illegal dreams. I'd get 10 years hard labour for that recurring one I have about Laura Koonsberg. With the, you know, with the, and the tin of rice pudding, yeah. yeah. You, know, you know what the worst thing is? People are now calling for Donald Trump to win the Nobel Peace Prize. You know, he's going to take the credit for this. Like he had anything to f do with it. Like fat-shaming Kim Jong-un on Twitter in any way led to this breakthrough. You know, how long have we got? Yeah. Do, do you know how the North Korean leadership works, Tim? It's, it's pretty simple, really. Kim Jong-un isn't actually the current president. The current president is technically Kim Il-sung, Kim Jong-un's grandfather, even though he died in 1994. The government's general secretary is Kim Il-sung's son, Kim Jong-il, who was Kim Jong-un's dad, who died in 2011. So th the best thing you can say about Kim Jong-un is that he's the only current head of state who's actually alive. So that's come some kind of achievement, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Washington is keen to take as much credit as possible. It's been a roller coaster of a week for the international community, with the leaders of North and South Korea finally putting aside.